One. That's how noisy 170 miles an hour test. That looks so pretty. So if I break it, is it gonna reseal it? Would you look at that? Halfway! If you're the homeowner and you're sick and tired of replacing your roof every single year because you live in a hail market, maybe you have replaced your roof four times in the last six years. This video is for you. Today, we're in lovely Texas. We've been invited by our friends from F-Wave Shingle Manufacturers. It's not asphalt shingles. It's a completely different product. I want to show it to you. I want to show you how they make it. I want to show you how it's different from everything else in the market, how it's different from asphalt shingles that you see on 80% of the roofs installed today. Let's go. We live in a world where hail becomes a really big issue. It hails now in the states where it never hailed before. Atlanta, Cocoa Beach, Florida got hail this year. Holy Denver. We see bigger reports of hail almost every year. We have new records set, cars getting smashed, roofs getting smashed. It becomes a real problem. Insurance companies are losing billions in coverage. It's good for storm restoration contractors, but I believe that we should be investing in looking for better solution, better products to solve this massive problem. In today's video, we are reviewing product that claims to solve that problem and says yes to hail. We're talking about F-Wave shingles. We spent entire day with the production team. We've seen people behind the brand. They've only been in business since 2015, so fairly new company on the market. I'm gonna be giving you my personal 10 points. If you're the homeowner, why you should be considering to go with the F-Wave if you live in an area where it gets hailed a lot, or if you're the contractor and you're looking for new products to offer to your customers. Scott McDonald's, the most American name I've ever interviewed, I think. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, man, for your hospitality. It's my pleasure, and uh, we're thrilled to have you here with us in Burleson, Texas. Here are my 10 reasons why you should consider F-Wave. Reason number one, it's not asphalt shingles, but it's also not a rubber. It's TPO. Roofers will understand it. It's thermoplastic. It's pretty much plastic. There's seven primary ingredients in our product. Okay. They're all readily available. Um, they're not, you know, what I'd call commodity products, but they're resins and polymers that are, you know, available sure. uh, in the market. We formulate those in a way that's a bit proprietary, but everything about our product is green and sustainable. Because it's plastic, and plastic already have been used, TPO products been used in the roofing industry for a long time. It performs completely different than most products on the market. Number two, if you look at the product, especially from the road, if it's already installed, you will see granules, but it doesn't have granules. I mean, the whole thing about F-Wave, when I spent almost two days with them, it's very well engineered product and there's a whole bunch of engineers. They pretty much look at everything from engineer standpoint. When I ask them, how did they do it? Did they paint it? It's pretty much, it looks like a granules, but it's very, very high tech process. These are individual particles that, that are on the shingle. So we had to figure out how to get get a blend a look like like a granule asphalt granulated roof and it's an incredible amount of challenge to make something that's that's plastic based look like a, a real rock product which you get in return especially if you're a roofer because you don't have granules you don't slip it's walkable as a matter of fact they encourage you to walk on the roofs i've never seen any other product on the market on the roofing market that Manufacturer would say, go walk on our roofs. It's not going to damage it. Like they're not afraid of food traffic because of it. You're about to see employees getting paid for walking on the roofs, literally just walking on the roofs. Halfway! <laughs> for asphalt, traffic is prohibited. You want to be on the roof as less as possible because you're going to wash away and you know, you can brush off those granules and granules need to protect the mat and asphalt. In case of F-Wave, it's a completely different story. You can walk on it, you can jump on it, you can do anything you want on it. Walk all you want, you'll be fine. Your roof will be fine. Number three, it's very flexible. It's not easy to break, but it's very flexible and it's very easy to cut. Just move. That's it. I was impressed by it. It's not crisping. No, so the other thing that's kind of unique about this, Dimitri, is you just jack that up pretty good. Mm -hmm. We'll go on a tour and come back. 
give it enough time in the sun, that thing's gonna heat up and se reseal. See, I'm blown away how easy it is to break when you cut it, but how flexible it is. I finally see the break, but I flipped it like six times. Yeah. Like if I would do it to asphalt, it would break. And it would have broken once. This is fresh out of the bundle, right? If I hand this to the <laughs> roofer to install it, yeah. that's what happens immediately. So, you know, it's meant to be handled. Real world on the roof, meant to be yeah. walked on. Number four, it has amazing wind rating. Their glue that they have behind it, it's completely different glue from glue used in asphalt shingles, so it's proprietary technology. I've tried many times lifting it up, it's not an easy job. They test their shingles up to 170 miles an hour, which is absolutely amazing. It's sealed really well, and the wind rating is amazing. One hundred ten miles an hour is really easy for shingle companies to pass. That's why we test it at higher speeds. And even for asphalt, it's easy to pass. Fairly easy, yes. Number five, it looks cool. So a lot of manufacturers they struggle these days because their shingles get lighter and lighter, especially asphalt. They used to be you know 240, 250. Now there are 200. So that dimension, it's almost I would use the word cheated. So F-Wave is a 210, I believe, so it's about the same weight, but they're much thicker shingles. As a matter of fact, you get six bundles per square, not three, because how thick they are. So I think they look amazing from the road. They look just like any other asphalt shingles, but they're not asphalt, but they look better than asphalt, if you ask my opinion. Number six, it's very easy to repair. If you drop something on it, if it's dented, even hail damage, once some comes out and it starts heating up, because it's molded product, it's always wanna get back to original shape. This is my favorite part of entire presentation here. If this is not impressive, I don't know what is. I really got it that time to me. <laughs> I did. Would you look at it? We can fix it. He said he can fix it. That's impressive. Would you look at it? Number seven. What am I forgetting? Of course, hail resistant. This is the only product that passed both steel ball hail test and also the regular one. This is the fun part of the job. Crystal clear ice balls just so we have the most solid impact possible. That's it, I, I, I'm changing what I'm doing. I want your job. I want to be doing this. Well, you have no idea. Let's get it off and then uh. you can see how fun it really is. The problem with the hail test and hail warranty is the shingles only have class four as a top achievement. I personally think it should have like class eight you know, at the top. And if we would have class eight, products like F-Wave would be all the way at the top of the food chain because class four puts metal, asphalt shingles with the SBS technology in them. I mean, they all get the same ranking, but they don't perform the same. You can use Kettlebell to test F-Wave shingles. And what the speed is gonna be, like 77? 77 miles per hour, 100 uh, feet per second. Probably. Nice. <laughs> Surprise, surprise, no. Oh, you see the dent? You can actually see it almost, yep. like, almost like a breakage. What we'll see with our product is you'll see a slight dent, and this deck has actually been shot probably over like 50 times. Okay. Okay. You see a slight dent, we put this out in the sun, and that'll disappear. So when we were testing them at facility, I was blown away how the test was performed, how shingle was reacting to it. I mean, I've done for three years those tests here at my office, and we've done it so many times, and I've never seen a product performing how F-Wave performs to hail. What an amazing product. I understand that a lot of you guys are gonna have a dilemma of, pick it up and offer it to your clients or keep doing asphalt shingles because a lot of you think that it's good for your business to keep replacing the roofs every year and if you do something like this, it's gonna put you out of business because you know for the next five years or five storms, it's not gonna have a damage. My message to you is this, don't worry about it. Do what's right for the customer, do what's right for environment, for insurance company, and I guarantee you, you will be more successful by doing that. Yes, it does cost double, maybe triple in your market, but it's the right thing to do. Let's go. 
Number eight, it's very light and it's very nicely packaged. I was pleased about, you know, in the factory, like you look at the bundle, it looks just like regular bundle. And one thing about dealing with the shingles, which is 80% of the market right now, granules always fall off. Sometimes you open the bundle and literally just, you know, spills out. You, you install the job, it's very slippery. Uh, your gutters are full, there's always a lot of cleanup, you clean your truck, you clean your floors, it's just part of the business. When you deal with a product like F-Wave, it's super, super clean. It's more like, a, it's not a metal, like metal clean too, but it's almost like better than the metal. I mean, it's just, just so light, it's not heavy, the package is nice, I mean, just love it. Reason number nine, it's very, very consistent. So I've seen a lot of products on the market where, you know, uh, you can go back after installing, you see bad badge, bad one bundle, and it's just color, discoloration, whatever. One thing about their factory, we were not permitting to film everywhere, but a few areas they let us film. It literally feels like a Tesla factory. The area that actually packages their shingles at the end, the way they explain it to us, they have a robot that kind of jungle, so it's almost like playing cards. We have software that models how it goes on the roof to prevent patterning. Wow. This robot's a big part of it. It allows us to shuffle the deck and make sure that you don't have patterns coming right out of the bundles. They want to make sure that each bundle gets the same amount of shingle switches. You'll be surprised, but not all asphalt shingle manufacturers have it. Sometimes, like Owings Corning and a lot of others, they, they don't have the same amount. They say between the three, you're going to get a square, which is, I question them because I've seen a lot of jobs where it's not the case and the roofers complain all the time. You finish the job and you short one or two bundles. One of the reasons is because you don't know if you're going to get 19 pieces or 22 per bundle. A lot of roofers don't believe me but call your supplier and you'll get the answer that it's not the same quantity in a bundle well with f-wave it's always the same but also it's juggle so because it's a little bit different pattern you always have the same nice picture and it's it's going to be very very nice and that robot is the, the one who's doing it so their manufacturing process is very very different from everything that i've seen when it comes to shingle manufacturers so very impressed with that number 10 i told you their factory looks like like Tesla, but they don't have backlogs like Tesla do. So you don't have to wait two, three years. It's already in the market. They've been selling it. You can get it pretty much. I think right now they sell in 16 states, but I'm pretty sure they'll ship to others. So if you're in the market and you're looking for high durable product, I mean, we're gonna be carrying it in Minnesota, in Orlando, one of my businesses. If you're looking for installer, I would like you to connect with somebody, but it's available. It's there, it's on the market. You can go and buy it and try it and see how it performs. Now, I've been busting steel and ice balls for a couple days testing the product and I don't want you to bust my balls because I didn't give you any concerns. I do have a couple concerns. I would call them soft concerns. I don't think it's a big deal, but as a reporter, as an honest YouTuber, I have to tell you how it is. And I really brainstorm it. I actually ask CEO of the company, is there anything, any concerns, any problems you have? I want to know because I want to report it how it is. Before you make a decision, at least hear me out and maybe it'll affect your decision, maybe not. Who knows? Let me know in comments below. Concern number one, the product has been on the market only since 2015. So yes, it has hail warranty. It has faded warranty. It has you know, lifetime or 50 year warranty for the product. But the thing is, we don't know how it's gonna perform. We truly don't. Yes, it's been tested in the labs and I truly believe that they will back up their warranty. If you ask me, I believe in the product, but it's hard to say it will last, you know, even 25 years when the product only been in the market for four. We don't know what we don't know. We have to wait and see. So that's my concern number one. It's a little bit too new. I've seen plastic uh, products failed before, something to do with their, their technology. I do see how F-Wave is very different. They don't use any recycled materials, for example. The reason is because plastic always gonna go to original shape, so they don't want shingles to be buckled or anything like that. So I think it will last, but concern, if you have that concern, I would understand it. Concern number two is actually hail warranty and promises of hail warranty. I do see F-Wave as a hail proof product. Now, we've been testing and it's actually something happened during the test. So the board, they've been sh shooting balls. It's not the first test that they've been doing on the same shingle. So 
at one ball, like I actually saw like little cracks. So I, I'm here to report to you that I do believe that it's possible to crack F-Wave shingle. I would say, but if it happens to F-Wave, it'll break any other product in the market. I believe that F-Wave shingles are the top 1% of all products on the market. Tiny, tiny crack, it didn't break uh, all the way. I mean, I've seen the deck behind the shingles was completely destroyed, but uh, on a test area, after all the shots, I've seen one little area. We came back when it was hot and we still saw the crack. I believe it's possible to destroy or to crack the shingle. If that will ever happen, I guarantee you there's no other product, at least on today's market, would withstand it. So, and it's not gonna happen to the entire roof. If you would buy one, I guarantee you, your house probably gonna be the only one in the neighborhood who's not gonna be getting new roof. And out of all the products I've seen, this is the best product for hail damage, for hail warranty. And I don't doubt the warranty is good and it's a hail proof shingle, but I would say that it's possible to break it. So those are my soft concerns that I have with the F-Wave. Again, the positivity of the company and the technology and the team. I mean, such amazing people, such amazing product. You can tell uh, they're all engineers and it's designed by engineers, front, back, every detail. So much attention to those details from the reach to the starter, to the packaging. I mean, I'm super impressed and I'm not easy guy to uh, impress. I do have minor concerns, but they, there's no way they can outweigh me uh, out of decision to promote the brand, if you will. I'm not getting paid for promoting them. F-Wave invited us. They wanted to show us the product, so we're not getting paid to do this review. This is my honest feedback. This is my honest review. Let me know, guys, what you think in comments below. Would you install it on your house? And if you're a roofer, would you be recommending something like this to your homeowners as well? Let me know. I read all my comments. I want to hear your feedback.